fine. Okay. What are these? These are called concrete bumper editions. Okay. And these are like a prestige format compilation of two thematically related issues of concrete. I don't even think they're consecutively numbered issues necessarily. This one focused on concrete, the character taking some jobs. This one focused on him doing some adventures on land and sea, like natural nature style adventures. And there's some of my favorite material. Okay, the beauty of concrete, the comic was, he first appeared in Dark Horse Presents and you didn't know who he was, right? You didn't know why this concrete guy would sort of show up and have these weirdo, um, weird little adventure stories that they weren't superhero stories by any stretch of the imagination. But there was also this untold backstory to the character concrete himself this weird guy so it's everything else was like a hyper kind of realistic world but this guy was there and he's not a superhero but he was a celebrity okay so concrete when we first learn about him he's just a guy who sort of does things and he's got unknown motivations but he's a he's obviously a, a, a just a person and not a very, um, not a very like active super heroic guy who once he got into this concrete body wanted to do these great adventures. So we don't know how he got this body. We just know he's in there. We don't know much about him yet. Okay. And these were stories from the single issue. So he started in Dark Horse Presents in these short stories, but then rapidly went on to do his own series because it was a big hit. Mike Richardson talked about that. Uh, Paul Chadwick was, you know, a professional working for Marvel, could have just stayed doing that. But he had these, he had other ideas. So the first story in this, and one, that, one of the reasons this is one of my favorites, I can't really get to it right now, but I own this cover. This is the only piece of cover art I own, but it's this wraparound cover to concrete odd jobs i got i've got it back here in the in the studio and anyway this is the idea that concrete uh, uh went on like the david letterman show and asked people for ideas about what he should do with his crazy body right and they told the they told the people that he was a government cyborg project that just didn't work out. And so he was set free to just do his own thing. This is just sort of his cover story, right? Um, anyway, he got some letters and got invited to do different things. And one of the things he got invited to do was um, to provide security on a rock stars tour. And this is a sort of a prince like character called Duke. And the whole story is really, it's really a character study. So we get to learn the, the crazy, like, paranoid, vegetarian, gun-loving character, the Duke. Sort of a Prince analog, right? Prince, Duke, you get it. But uh, this guy had a John Wayne fetish, so he calls himself the Duke. Anyway, he goes on these concerts, and he's been getting he gets all kinds of crazy letters like any rock star does. And, but he loves to shoot off real guns at his concert and get into really like dangerous situations. And concrete is supposed to be like his, um, concrete supposed to be like his, uh, cool. I see a few, I see a few guys watching out there, a few comments. Yeah. We're going to talk to, uh, age reptiles. For sure. We're talking about Age of Reptiles for sure. Anyway, um, and yeah, concrete is wonderfully illustrated. That's the one thing I think everybody can agree on. Maybe I can even uh let's see, get the get it get in a little bit closer here in the ye old million dollar comics cam. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. A little bit blurry, can't really read the dialogue, but you'll get an idea of what we're dealing with, which is really a master cartoonist who's um 
you know, who's able to take like talky sequences or whatever and turn them into something uh, really special. And so Concrete gets involved in sort of a murder, it's sort of a mystery involving um, a crazy fan who wants to kill him and uh, who wants to kill Duke. And we find out through the course of it the, the reasons behind it. It's a really cool story. And in it, Concrete gets graffitied as part of like the show. And, and Duke goes after him with sledgehammers and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty goofy. And But he spray painted Homeboy and Pee Wee on him, which were the names of two movies that Paul Chadwick did um, storyboard artwork on. The movie Homeboy and Pee Wee's not Big Adventure, but I think Big Top Pee Wee. And you know, like like any good story, there's a there's a little action sequence. The thrilling parking lot sequence is loved by all. Um, and you get to learn the story of the truth that that Duke is kind of like not what he seems to be and that the fan, the crazy fan also sort of has a reason and is not what he appears to be either. I don't want to give away the story because it's too wonderful. What I want to talk about is the incredible artwork by Chadwick and just the very idea behind concrete. And I'll just flip through this. So I'm, I'm going to spoil it because. A little bit because I'll, I will tell you his origins because we learn by, I don't know, maybe it's issue number six of the series that uh, Concrete is really a guy named Laurent Lithgow who was a political speech writer who loved camping. He went camping and on vacation with his pal. He was kidnapped by aliens and put into this weird organic concrete body. Okay. His buddy was too. And they both tried to escape. Only Ron escaped. And his pal, we never learned. He stayed aboard the spaceship, and we never really learned his fate. It's sort of one of the unspoken mysteries of the story. One of, the, one of those things that's really great. We don't need to know what happened to, I think his name was Michael. Now, in this issue, Concrete goes to work on a family farm and save the farm. And uh, we learn a lot about ecology and farming, which is like a theme of concrete, not really farming, but ecology. So concrete, the character and the writer, Paul Chadwick, writer and author, are really into eco stuff. So the, he weaves that into a lot of his stories. And as actually, as the series went on, it became a super major part of like the larger arcs. In this one, we just sort of learn a lot about like, learn making a sustainable family farm and what that means and these folks they lost their dad right their dad is no longer in the scene and we will find out why and that's a big part of the mystery story here that happens for concrete you can see a lot of it is concrete in nature trying to deal with like his crazy body. He weighs thousands of pounds he can see for a mile he can see a license plate he can read a license plate from out of an airplane window, okay? He can uh, see uh, at, at night, complete night vision, like he has amazing eyesight. eyesight. And that's one of his, he feels is one of his greatest gifts because he loves to explore nature. Um, he can also hold his breath for an hour and he can jump like way further than he should be able to for everything that we know about sort of like muscle, bone density and all that stuff. There's really intriguing scientific concepts uh throughout concrete that make it just like such a great thing it's it's in essence it is a science fiction it's a work of science fiction it's one of those kind of classic works of science fiction where um really only one thing is uh sorry folks only one thing is different and that's concrete right the rest of the world is an utterly realistic even mundane world sometimes I really recommend checking out the concrete short story collections that collected his initial appearances in Dark Horse Presents. Little, I think, eight page vignette stories and stuff just set in the universe that give you a little taste. And then you dip into the real series and learn about uh, slowly get exposed to the origins and where concrete comes from. Like he does, he can't even tell his own pals what's happening. 
there. We can see him using his night vision. He really he doesn't need to eat real food. He eats rocks and stuff that precipitate out into his crust. He also has amazing regenerative powers. And it, 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 in one of the issues, he gets a leg blown off and it regrows. Um, and there's a lot of secrets to Concrete's body, including the fact that in the most latest Concrete stuff, he actually ends up getting pregnant through like emotional sex with someone. It's a really it's really wild stuff. Um, oh, this one also includes a really great short story um, about like a carjacker and an old couple. It's called What Needs to be Done. And Concrete sort of coming back from his adventure. This is one of the short stories in, in Dark Horse Presents that would come out in between the regular issues of Concrete. And in this one, he passes by this couple who are sort of like, oh, no, we don't need any help. Because, but indeed, they actually did need help because they have been carjacked and are being held at gunpoint by this crazy psycho. Like, Concrete gets into all kinds of territories. It tells all kinds of stories, adventure stories, emotional dramas, ecological stuff, science fiction, you name it. And we get to see this crafty old codger and how he manages uh, to get his way out of the situation. And it's actually a pretty... Um, a really cool little crime story with a nice twist payoff on the end. Mwah, fantastic, beautiful concrete odd jobs. I am so proud to own the cover art for this one. Um, I can't even say I love concrete. I think you should check it out. I'm trying really hard to get Paul Chadwick to come in here and maybe talk to me. I think that will be awesome. Okay. Let's talk about, 